Welcome everybody to Camden County College Cougar Esports. We have more Valor in action as promised today, tonight. I am nursing a little bit of a cold, so please bear with me. We'll see just how much energy uh, we can provide, but I'll be I'll be honest, I think the Cougars will give us just just enough energy to get by on this one. We have Lake Area Technical College. Uh, is the uh, is the opponent uh, is the opponent tonight, and uh, as you can probably, actually you can't hear, you're going to hear in a second. The game's already getting started, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay. Well, everybody, welcome, welcome, if this is your first time at the stream, or maybe it's, uh, you know, your fifth time at the stream. If you haven't yet followed, we'd absolutely love to get a follow from you. Go ahead, hit, go ahead and hit that little heart bottom right of your, your screen there. Much appreciated. But here, the team's getting ready to get started. We are on Ascent. Uh, that will be the first, uh, first map being played tonight. Cougars, they like to start defensive. That's where they're going to start again tonight. They are going to be the blue-green team. Lake Area Tech going to be the red team starting on the attacking side. So we're just getting ready to load in. Of course, the Cougars looking to stay undefeated in this early parts of the season. Two different leagues, not a blemish between them. Looking for 5-0. and 5-0. Oh. and oh. Of course, this is the NJCAAE Round 2. Valorant. So let's see what uh, let's see what the Cougars have in store for us here. All right, so teams get ready to get started here. And we did see ascent last night as well. Cougars starting defensive as um, on, uh, last night as well. Um, pretty standard stuff Standing here. Ahead. Of course, Killjoy really strong on this B site. Some utility the lake area Shut being down. used on the B site. Haunt is going to go down fast here. Goes down early. The first frag of the match goes the way of Lake Area Tech. So, Shadow Ball here. Let's do a name check. We have some interesting names. Let's see which one's the most fun to say. That's really always what we're in search of. Shadow Maw and, and Lake Area Tech not really committing yet. They did get that pick over toward A. It's Cover go out. Exploit it. Smoke's being used mid mid. French gonna see that here. Going to cover his team. He does get the audio cues. He has to know they're making moves, but does he know how many oh. are making moves? Ken Jank with one. Looks for a second, doesn't quite find it. French going to get a kill here in the Spike mid. down mid. So suddenly a 4v3 advantage to the Cougars. Bouncing back and forth one here, three v two, three v one, Gen Jank, and now it comes down to Bloodhound. <laughs> Looks for the headshot there. Does actually get Gen Jank Yesh though, able to close it down with the Cougars. First round goes toward Camden County. With that all important this? round one Thanks. victory, the pistol round. Heading now into round number two. If we take a look, uh, just some light investments as we usually see in round two from the losing side. So now this time, maybe a different approach from Lake Area Tech, leaning a little bit more toward the A site. We Haunted in his the same position here. Some utility going to be used from the opposing Sova. Now audio cues coming out. Genjank certainly knows that it's going to be an A play. Perhaps going to get a little bit aggressive. Does get a dink with that stinger, but not doesn't have the follow-up shots. Very aggressive from Genjank. Haunted in a great spot. You know, going to help him Spike with an overwatch position a. from. Heaven on A here. And now, Lake Gary Tech having to decide how to approach this. Even numbers. We're able to pick up that stinger, I think. And now, 
They're just having to deal with this smoke. At some Force point, fire. they're going to have to go through a spot out Fire down A. Or is it C4? Or we're just going to call him Mac. We're going to make it easy here. <laughs> Mac tries to get the spike. He goes down. He gets spotted out. 30 seconds smoke. left. And now. Lake area looking to I just get spike. that spike. Jasper is able to pick it up. Where is the Etsuku going to be? Uh, they must be a little bit shocked that Kim County isn't around here. Haunted though, maybe with a good position. Does spot out the pistol. Takes one, looking for down, more, finds a second while he's falling, switches to running. the pistol here. Bloodhound has the better shot that time, but Yeish closing it down. Three members left alive for the Cougars, but they do take the round regardless, heading into round three. And of course, if you've been watching, listening to any of the streams here through the last couple of uh, last couple of semesters, we uh, we'd like to talk about round three as that pivot round, the all important pivot round. I think you can really capture some momentum if you can win those first three rounds, because again, you're going to see. Uh, Surprisingly, not a full buy across the board, but close to a full buy from Lake Area. Ooh, haunted with a headshot tap on a Bloodhound. He'll just get a start with the opening frag. We'll have to see how they decide to handle it. Lake Area. Taking some time here. Smokes are gonna come down. Yeesh gonna spot that out. He hears plenty of footsteps. He hears the open teleport. Turtle boy, you know, trading kills, trading blows. Haunted getting ready to peek here. He'll find One Turtle enemy Boy. Remaining. Takes him down spot and now it's down. just back. And Yeesh closes that down with the stinger. That is that all important round, I think, at this point now capture some momentum but Lake Area not willing to just lay down here as we can see investing into this round we see a couple a one full buy here otherwise light buys trying to invest seeing if they can get something going personally I would totally Good work. I would save Don't here I think you up. seed the round to give yourself the better chance later Shadows traveling. Now splitting up this time is Lake Area. Ooh, you know. Yeah, we actually missed that kill in mid. French didn't peek and getting a second down, kill. Mid. Actually, that was on Haunted. Oh, it just misses the kill that was through the wall and the damage reduction there. Mac and Bloodhound trading One back. You know with the kill. Get checked with the shorty kill on A. And now it is, comes down just to Mac. He was the lone player. Actually, no, that's not accurate. He did have a vandal in hand, but you know, quiets any sort of rally from Lake Area. There, the Cougars now with that fourth round, and here's the issue becomes: if you're Lake Area, you invest into that round, and then suddenly you're chasing every Time round out. that that economic discrepancy. So it looks like they are going to continue to do it. They're going to invest again and again into these rounds. That's exactly what we're seeing here. In the early goings, Bloodhound, high man for his team. Five kills. You know. Killjoy with eight kills behind. Joke's over! You're team. dead! And here comes the Phoenix ult. Yeesh in a perfect position. Potentially, he knows that he's going to get picked by Mac. He gets some intel for his team. Long Killjoy out. also going down here. Yeesh gets a kill with the shot dart. Jasper able to return, return the favor, but health bars are awfully low on the part, <laughs> on the part of Lake Area. And that's interesting. Get Launching a smoke. Kill on the very bad side of this fight. French gonna bring some smokes down. Haunted now on the flank does get nearsighted. He's gonna put a smoke down and protect himself there. He might get a good angle through the smoke. So one close. His aim was great for one. We now have Genji oh, cleaning up the round up with the flank. And again, we're seeing these these rounds really aren't that close just yet, and, and that's what you know what ends up happening here. Lake Area going to continue to chase that economic discrepancy, not getting too many frags. Usually, it's, it's been about two, sometimes three. So the money is going to be very healthy, as you can see, eight pl eight thousand plus on two players for Camden County College. And again, we see an investment. Of course, the loss bonus certainly has stacked up here. 
Weapon but again, shield. if you're trying to buy utility and rifles and full armor, it's just not gonna add up as Jay so going to use his ice wall, gonna get him up high onto A. And it looks like maybe a slightly different approach here. We do see some aggressive play from the Cougars haunted in his usual position here, trying to catch somebody lurking, trying to give some something give something away. Yesh going to use his Recon dart, perhaps? Maybe it was a shock dart? I haven't seen it come down. I think it was a shock dart. Lake area now. Trying to find a way in, and perhaps that is that way into this round here. Shadow Ball with the first blood. We have haunted here on the backside with the flank, but here's where the action is coming down yeah. now. It is onto the B site. Yeesh. Ready, perhaps. Sleep, Goes brother. into the smoke, but before he does, takes a kill with him. And now we have Haunted and Genjank on the sides here. Tap shot it for one. Does he have a second? Does actually spot him out there. Shadow coming down to this play here. You would think, you know, Spike with the kill. Haunted B. on the backside Last now. Last player they've standing. Lost, they've lost track of the Omen player. See how this goes down here. Certainly want to watch from Shadow Maul's perspective. Removed. Gets one, but now his position is compromised. But he isn't able to take more than that one. The Cougars taking round number six. And again, not a lot of economic damage dealt. I think at this point, if you are Lake Area, you really need to invest in one of these rounds with a full buy. I would save one and then use your ultimates to see what you can make happen. But as we can see again, another full investment here and the money for the Cougars. They, they can afford to lose several rounds if they want to, but they certainly don't. They're looking to go for round seven. We'll continue to keep up the pressure. French with a Spike kill down, in mid. mid. Speaking down. Haunted going to get a little bit aggressive with French in mid. They're going to take control of the, the middle here. Genjank now pushing out from A main. Haunted with a One kill. Seven, he gets seven, a second seven. through the smoke. Genjank pushing through. Bloodhound going to be able to trade him back. And now he hears the team coming. There's a free fire from French. Around the corner. Round number seven going the way of Camden County. Lake Area still trying to find a way into this map. Map number one in a best of three. And honestly, it's still not, it's just not happening for them yet. Not happening for them yet. And again, we continue to see the full buys or the attempted full buys pretty much every single round for Lake Area. So I think they need to have something, they need to change something up, you would think. Where they're going to look for some opportunity, perhaps a pick. They have gotten first blood a couple of rounds, but it hasn't yielded them an actual round. Yet. Yeah, French in a great position. We see that blind player through the smoke. Maybe does a little bit of damage, but not Spike enough. Now gets his kill there, and Spike now Cannon mid. County is starting to feel themselves a little bit, it would appear. And here comes the BM attempt. And like we said, last uh, like we said last night if you play with fire sometimes you do get burned and we saw that right there too uh, i think you can clearly tell uh, the cougars are feeling a bit confident feeling like they might just have lake area tech's number here um so we'll see what we, we, we this is why we get, listen in, in, in valorant the great the great part about it is, is that uh there is no uh, there is no time limit necessarily you only need one round to make a comeback. And at this point, Lake Area still has five to play with. But now the Cougars are, looks like they're just maybe changing things up yet again. Um, smokes down. Blood down here. I'm gonna put some smokes down into tree. Maybe trying to distract what's, uh, the, what the actual play might be here. Ooh, Genjank using his ice cream to get a good position. Tries to find something there. Yeesh. With the opening kill of the round, he does hear footsteps. You will not kill Oh, this is going to be an interesting position here. He, they might just be gifting kills to him. There's that quadra kill, and then the fight is happening B. on the other side of the match. You know, he gets nearsighted. Shadow Maul able to take him down. Genjank now in a 3v2, ultimately. Yesh looking for that 
That For very you. rare six kill ace, perhaps. I'm not sure. Shadows now the Cougars taking cover going out. A very proactive maneuver <clears throat> into mid because I assume they might know that the spike is still down. They certainly scatter. Yeesh certainly knew about it before, and he's going to dispatch that Done Omen here. ultimate right away. Thirty but of seconds course, left. Omen does pick up the spike when he when he does that. So a very cheeky play from Lake Area definitely gives them a chance in this round in the 3v2. So it'll have to be the retake for the Cougars. We see Genjank here coming from A main. It'll be French and Yeish backing him up. Yeish goes down. French Jump does some over. good damage. Genjank from the One side and is actually able to uh, to take down that uh, Phoenix ultimate relatively quickly. Your good positioning from him. That was definitely the closest round we've seen thus far. Healing. I liked the approach from the area, but but the Cougars were the better team with the shots and the positioning on the retake. Turn up. Again, like we've seen every single round thus far, Lake Area continues to just buy into it, buy into it. They're trying to, listen, I, I, I they're trying to throw haymakers. They're trying to throw haymakers. Right now, they're definitely Placing not hitting, but hey, they're, they're certainly trying. And now we see Yuno here with the Killjoy, kind of a little bit aggressive. Grenade. Notice Swarm that we used to out. see him play a little bit further back onto B. Not anymore. Starting to feel very confident. Gets the first kill. French now on the side. Defender Killjoy going to be used. Eddie's and that'll soldier. be another kill going the way of Camden County. And here comes Yuno. Yuno goes down. Gage trying to trade him back. Remaining. But now the man is French. Down, and he beat. misses the few shots there. Loses. Excuse me. Runs out of ammo. But Yeish with the tap headshot. Ready to back his teammate up. Ten rounds for Camden County. And it might be a quick map number one. Not, uh, the Cougars not yet challenged in, in this map. We have certainly seen the, um, in, in previous weeks, we've, we've seen the, the challenge come. But that hasn't happened yet. I, I think if you're Lake Area, at this point, you want to find something to feel good about. You want to try and see, can you just get a couple kills I'll go, on you the bro. board? Take a couple rounds, right? You want to try and build some momentum into the next into the next map. I mean, I don't want to sell them, you know, we don't want to say that there's no chance here, but it's going to be relatively hard. Hellfire. Brimstone all going to be used right outside of A main onto A, trying to clear out some space. Haunted, though, in a very cheeky position. They're going to see the ice wall for sure. Does get one headshot, finds a second as well. A. And now they're in a tough spot, Lake Area Tech. Shadow Ball in a good flanking position, but I think he's going to be overwhelmed, and Yeish will make that true. Haunted gets flashed, he gets pushed away. Mac now with the Guardian. Knows where Camden County is, but we see Yeish on the side as well. And here comes Yuno trying to find the knife kill. The Cougars desperate for one of those knife kills to land at some point this season. Bloodhound able to take one. Here comes Yuno around the corner, and now suddenly the Cougars. Getting a little bit tough, perhaps is cold. overly confident, but they're able to lock it down none nonetheless. Eleven Last rounds. Last round before the switch. The area now getting ready to start what is going to be the final round of this attacking side and again really just looking for something to feel good about and honestly and things can change it's in the blink of an eye and so they are going to change things up a little bit here it looks like a lot of utility no being used mid. ultimate from the sova comes down as well yeesh in a pretty tough spot with that operator and he will go down shadow all taking him but now it'll come down to french with the odin on the back side Ooh. And now it looks like this could be a round that uh, Lake Area may actually get the Bucky on Genjank here. He's actually going to pick up that Operator. Ooh, he wishes still had the, uh, the Bucky. Oh, now Omen with a flanking position on Genjank. And that's immediately going to be a pretty good opportunity, you would think. Fort Lake area to take the first round, but interestingly, the spike not going down yet on A. 
Made Brimstone wasn't sure that he had it. And now here comes Yuna with a wide swing. Misses a couple shots there. He knows where Mac Spike is, planted. though. He's hunting. And if I'm Lake Area Tech, I'm not taking that fight, but it doesn't matter. This Lake Area doesn't go down quietly. Takes that round. No Switching perfect sides. map for the Cougars. And listen, you have to be careful with giving them something to feel good about, I think. Um, you never know where these things can go. But as it stands, the Cougars need just two more rounds. So the ever-important round number one, the pistol round, would be certainly a great uh, first step to close map one out. Send us to map number two. So here we go. The Cougars leaning toward the A site here. Yeah. We do see Haunted perhaps getting ready. We've seen his ghost. It's relatively lethal, I would say. He might try and fish for something mid, but I don't know if he's going to find anything at the moment right now. Uh, we see a pretty standard setup. Launching well, smoke! Well, actually, not quite standard. We see um, kind of a, an A, uh, a lead here. But uh, here comes French. Gonna get the party started, perhaps. Haunted actually gets the first kill. Jasper able to trade back. And now it comes down to Mac in health. Is able a. to get a couple. Well, actually, just the one kill. It's now a 3v3. Ultimately, you know, with the head tap. Kid does get the dink on to one. Down to two! Doesn't isn't able to get the kill. One this enemy ends remaining. Up being a two v two. Oh, now it's one v two and Genjank with the double kill with the frenzy on a player here up in tree. Match point. So that's you know, so here we are. Match point. Now obviously if you are Lake Gary, you're going to be buying you you know you you certainly don't take any sort of money into the next map. You might as well spend it. You have no opportunities for save rounds here. You're certainly going to find, um, you're going to try and find as much of a buy as you can. So we do see Spectres across the board. We do see and the Stingers, which is becoming pretty popular for the Cougars. Full buy from them. The Stim out now. Here come the Cougars with the take, a one for one trade. Actually now a one Spike for two. Down. Bloodhound, Bloodhound large in this round now. With two kills. French, who to take him down, silence him. Genjank though lurking, maybe in a great spot with his teammate. And Genjank almost with the crazy remaining. flick. Genjank able to trade him back now. It is now that 1v1 situation. Sage versus Sage. Let's see which player has it, of course. Ooh, Jasper does get some audio cues, perhaps? Uh, and in fact, he, the audio win. cues were certainly we there. Maybe a bit confused as to exactly where. Spike not going down yet on A. Big Brimstone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching map number one. We'll be right back for map number two in just a couple of minutes.
we're getting ready to get started. Map number two will be Haven. Lake area looking to bounce back here. We did see them get around on the board, which honestly does mean a lot for a team. I think there's nothing nothing worse than seeing that, that goose egg, right? So one on the board. Let's see if they can build on that here. The Cougars now starting on the attacking side here on, on Haven. Lake area on the defensive side now. We see the different agents being hovered and selected. So a, a big change, actually. Huge change for Camden County. We do see now the Neon, the Chamber, the Reina, and the, the Yoru coming out, which is a, you know, sort of almost a whole lineup shift. Similar, similar for Haven here, excuse me, similar for Lake Area Tech. Uh, we do see a couple of changes. Actually, it was just the one change bringing in the Chamber here. Otherwise, a similar team composition that they run, they ran before. So let's see how they set up on the defensive side. To get into this. But everybody, thanks that again works. as we take a few seconds here for the game to get started. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Every view, every follow does help. We really want you to support our Cougars our students here competing by the way at the William G. Rohrer Center in Cherry Hill live right now in person the team very excited about that so please go ahead and give us a follow here so let's get ready to get started okay. here into this game Yeesh on the chamber I don't know if you've ever seen that very interesting and now the Cougars are going to go very quick here you know with the opening frag we just barely missed it Genjank Getting very aggressive in Garage. And now Uno around the corner. Able to claim the third go. kill. And that'll almost certainly... That's going to be a very tough retake. Spike planted. For Lake Area. Mac here with the shorty. Is going to make some moves. Take some shots here. Not sure if they knew exactly where he was. Last player standing. Wants to claim the kill Long. here. And that shorty in a pretty bad spot. Coming out of Garage. Shorty, one of those weapons I think that... Is it, I mean, it's, it's not really a novel idea. Extremely um, position-centric. Otherwise, not very versatile. Might be something you pick up if you have an op in hand. But otherwise, you're just holding a tight angle. So a tight angle held, uh, but then you know, have, to, have to move positions. All right, here we go. Getting ready to get started again. Bit different setup here now for the Cougars. Genji should be moving in. He's gonna get that intel. He's gonna get the stinger kill. And now the B side has been taken. Haunted looking for more. Has two in the round one. The third. He finds that third. And suddenly it's down to the chamber. And there it's four for Haunted. Round two. But as the ground that we totally expect the Cougars to take. Things can get out of hand pretty quickly here if you're Lake Area. We are seeing the judge purchase on you know they really they're thinking about moving very quickly, getting onto these sites, locking them down just just you know, very, very fast, trying to get up close and personal. A slightly different uh, setup. Stay out here, of chamber sites. Potentially. Lake area. They're not sure what this, the defensive setup is just yet. Shadow down here to the smoke, he's going to uh, block off a couple of players, in fact. Gage. Getting his the first kill, first frag going here. Bloodhound gonna get flashed, and surely get Jack is gonna be able to close down on that kill. And we see the judge with that tight angle being used very well, and now it's just Jasper. 1v4, Spectre in hand, but Yesh ready, silencing Lake Area. This lake is drying up before our very eyes. We'll see how Lake Area decides to play this. Last map, we saw them invest into every one of these rounds. I'd love to see Who do they think one they save. are? Really get that full rifle, full armor buyout. Stim Beacon here. Mac, going to peek here along A. Not going to find anything. And 
you know, moving very quickly, does have that judge in hand, does spot out one of the players for Lake Area. Cutting through. In fact, able to, to maneuver away, and, and Shadow Maul will take the first frag of the round. Ooh, and the lineup there, Shadow Maul with three, a triple kill for him. Haunted now might have to be the big player here for his team. Yeah, he one enemy contributing. And then as it stands to 1v2, Mac against Haunted and Yeish. Tough spot here. Yeish now with the spike. They're very close to the B site. They may decide to plant it here. Haunted. Still looking, lurking, might actually come close to him here. Turns away at the wrong time and Mac just barely missed him there. Yeesh now with 30 HP, does have one bullet in the chamber pistol, does also have the Vandal to count on, but not much HP. The Judge now in hand, Mac on the B site, gonna be a tough spot, does have smokes to play with, he may be able to find some way to win this round. I think it's totally possible, but he's gonna have to make some moves. I would have used those those smokes already. And the lineup is true for Yeesh. Three kills to him. And round number four for the Cougars. Very surprised Mac doesn't use those smokes there. I feel like you can at least play a little bit with some information, play a bit of a cat and mouse game but they decide ultimately not to do that. So, Cougars with some great momentum. Again, that full, uh, you know, that full buy-in. You, you know, you certainly uh, you got to give it to Lake. They are, they are not backing down. Cover going out. Want to be into every one of these rounds. Haunted gets us started onto the A site. Get Jank getting ready to move in. Does a bit of a. Uh, uh, but, but, if you will. Now Fresh having to be large for his team. Ultimately, not able to claim that kill. A 2v3 as the dust settles. We do see Haunted on the A side here, on the weak side of Lake Area. He's in a great spot, and he might just look for that knife kill. In fact, he will get it. That was what the Cougars have been looking for for at least a couple of maps. Two v two. Haunted and Yeish. Trying to find this round for the Cougars. Turtle Boy here with a pretty good spot. Does spot out Haunted, but doesn't decide to take the shot there. Wants to maybe play a little bit more conservatively, see if he can get a really tight angle. The spike plant surely coming down here in a moment. 30 Shadow seconds Mob left. Backing up his teammate with only 2 HP, though. The spike goes down, and that'll come down to the retake. Haunted. Way to just play on the site. It looks like Gage thinking about going all the way to long here, but thinks better of it. And now the retake One coming enemy out. Remaining. Shadow Maul able to get haunted with his back turned away, and now they know where Yeish is. This shot from Shadow Maul will have to be very, very strong. Might use his teammate here to gain, gain some intel. Ooh, Shadow Maul does have the shot. Yeish maybe not sure exactly where that peak was going to be coming from. And there you have it, Lake Area Tech no on the board today, early afraid. here. 1-4. And now see, this is where some of that momentum can start to be built if you're Lake Area Tech. You know, this caster is a little bit biased, though. I'm hoping the Cougars are able to stop the, that momentum right in its track. So we'll see exactly how Cameron County wants to play it here. We haven't really seen a fast A play. That's the, the direction they are leading right now. Pretty standard defense for Lake Area, but we do some, see something Eyes up. a little bit different here in Garage. Hi, I'm pissed. All right, so all eyes are going to be on the Neon player Yeesh with a kill, opening frag here. <laughs> Neon Ultimate able to claim an extra kill as well. He's moving very quickly here. Bloodhound with his back turned. And Neon is just wrecking havoc right now. Does good damage to Jasper. Jasper likely to be able to heal that back up.
now we do see the Cougars with full control of the A site. Yeah, he's going to pick up player standing. that spike now. But now it's going to come down to Mac with the Marshall. Not a favorable position. You're certainly going to see somebody be very aggressive, and that ends up being French taking the kill and the round. The spike land not quite going down. Half second away from that. They are so dead. All right, Yesh. Going to use that. Going to use that chamber ultimate. That's almost always on this map an indicator that the player is either going to go mid or long C. Sometimes we'll see exactly how he decides to. Win. That's a good how he decides spot. to play Teleport's it here. ready. Shadow Maul, also with his ultimate in hand, decides not. You to want to play? Next. Let's play. He's going to be in a spot here. Yenjank ultimate being used as well. The overall good position from Shadow Maul decides to back up here. Yenjank goes down, gets awfully aggressive. We see Yesh here on the side as well. The retake happening for his team. One enemy remains. Mac able to close it down. It's now just comes down to you know Shadow Maul cleaning that round up. And now again, here you are. Lake area very much into this game. 2-5 on map number two. We're seeing Shadow Maw play absolutely stunner, stunning Valorant with this 10-5 scoreline. But, you know, these rounds haven't been necessarily clean um, for Lake Area. We have, so we're not getting a, quite a full buy out. Pretty close, but not quite. I can't blame them though. I would want to do more of a budget by myself. I think you, you want to finally get into this game. Bloodhound here going to use his uh, teleport straight in front of Genjank. Bit of an interesting play there, and suddenly the B site has fallen to the Cougars. Yesh here getting a kill on C as well, and now it'll come down to two players for Lake Area Turtle Boy. And Mac. Last player standing. Genjank taking one, taking two, taking three. And the round. I do like a little bit of a different break here for the Cougars. We did see some. We see a lot of shotguns being bought. Very interesting. But I, you know, with this super fast, the super fast B take, for example, it's working out for them. Six. Round number nine is getting ready to get started here. In Lake Area, though, right now they're trading rounds. It's not a terrible spot to be. The spike getting ready to go. Ooh, is able to bait out the cheeky, cheeky op shot there. All eyes right now on Genji. Time to Trying jump. to get something started here. Taking the spike in to the A site. Seeing maybe if there's anybody from Lake Area available here. Does spot out Turtle Boy. Does get that kill. Opening frag. Right now, we do still see a number of spike opponents down a. on the A site. Ultimately, a 4v3 haunted. Able to get a kill. We see the omen lurking on the backside of this. Haunted trying to get into it, finds one! Pretty impressive one play from enemy him. Remaining. And then we have Juno and French ready on the back here for that rotation coming out from the Omen player. Haunted high man for his team, 13-3. But all players honestly contributing in a big way here. 2 7 in favor of Camden County College. They're looking for six more to take map two and the night. Lake Area again. No question, still a better showing. These rounds are closer. They're just playing closer than they were. Sage Wall going to be used right away, trying to deter any sort of advance. Ooh, Jasper does spot out a couple of players there. Rotations are coming now to the A site. Jasper, the lone player, is going to need a little bit more help. He's going to need something to go right for them. Haunted now Ooh, with the spray through the wall. 3v5. The, the retake is going to have to be very, very strong. One enemy remaining. 
lake area and ultimately as the dust settles a 1v4 specter in hand for bloodhound an unfavorable position for them peak spots at least three decides that's unlikely i think i'll take this specter into the next round and honestly i don't blame them Genjank though and you know are they're hunting they're hunting it's for other people and he'll find that quadra kill spike detonation goes off as well just for good measure 2 8 in favor of Camden County College oh, we might see something a little bit uh, interesting here something very cheeky from the Cougars by the looks of things we'll see how they decide ultimately to play it Perfect. Lake area now. Yeah, let's see, maybe they they might decide to change the defensive side up just a little bit here. Cover going out. Bloodhound going to get spotted out there. Haunted just misses him. Does have Vandal in hand though, and it looks like the Cougars are thinking about this B play here. Genjank in a good spot here for Jasper. Does get some audio cues. Jasper just ducking. Able to quite get that kill, but Yuno gets the opening frag, gets a start on to B, and now what will the Cougars be able to do with this? Mac just looming, lurking, and a body part is seen. French with a kill on the backside as well. We might see another one here. One enemy remaining. Shadow Ma take, takes the one position perhaps French didn't expect to see. Genjank here holding the angle does have Spike in hand. It is a 1v4. Spike ultimately going to go down here. Spike planted. <laughs> oh, Haunted going above, you know, with knife out. You know what he's looking for here. Do we see anything special here from Genjank? He's caught with his knife out, but this could be a really bad spot to be. You've got two ways to look. You have to 50-50 this if you're Shadow Maw. It looks one way. Haunted goes for the kill. There was no way I think that Shadow Maw could have taken that two knives on either side. A pincer Last maneuver. round in the half. Chamber not with a lot of utility to get onto the site there. Two nine. Last round of the half, and then we will switch sides. The Cougars will try their hand on the defensive side. But again, I can't stress this enough. Lake area is certainly more in this map than the last one. Regardless of the yeah, rounds, the so fact there. is these rounds are just plain closer. Mac now, Lone Man on C. French is backing up onto the site right now. Wanting to make sure that they can check these corners very quickly. Mac with a good position Jesus finds crazy. two. In beacon here. Genjank with the Yoru ultimate. I'm back. Is gets out, misses that second shot with the shorty. Ooh, Yesh though with the kill. Honestly gives the Cougars a chance here. I am the hunter! Might be pretty big though for Lake Area. Does it is actually able to tag up Yuno a little bit? That's all they're gonna get out of it. Let's see how Cougars decided to play this one now. I mean, it's a it's a ends up being a 4v2, but they do have Spike in hand. We see rotations coming out here. Oh, standard actually setup. I, I I like it from Lake Area, but it's gonna come down to this opening frag here. Can it happen? One enemy remaining. Shadow Ball not having anything, not having it at all. Shadow Ball with two to close the round down and the half, getting three on the board. Switching Lake sides. Area again, getting a little bit more into that map, that map half, but we also saw some cheeky plays coming out from Camden County, feeling pretty good about themselves here. But we, you know, certainly don't want to take any team lightly. I mean, I think things can change very quickly. You, you've given uh, the team a lot to feel good about. So the, now, let's see. Perhaps, you know, I like to think of this this game, generally speaking, as a little bit more attack friendly than, than maybe your standard tactical shooter. A lot of ways to obstruct vision. To, to 
cover your advance on a site. Well, Cutting let's, through. Let's see if that's actually true here, Genji. With the with the sheriff. Oh my goodness, gets a little too aggressive, perhaps. Ultimately, Haunted trades a kill back. Now French getting into it. Runs out of Sheriff Ammo. Gonna have to get that reload. Last player Fishing standing. for that headshot there. Yeesh, the last person alive. 1v2 does have that ever-important chamber pistol. Misses that first shot. One for a second remaining. and a third. Does find the kill eventually. Now a classic in hand, and it'll come down to Yeesh versus Turtle Boy T. A very tense situation. Spike is in Turtle Boy's hands with the Sheriff. Plenty of time left. I mean, they really could, Turtle Boy could, could take plenty of time. Let's get the audio cue there now. The sheriff now in hand of both players. Yeah, he's gonna have to play very quickly, Turtle Boy ready. Well, again, you got to be careful. Camden County definitely feeling really good about this map. Definitely feeling really good about this whole weak win. But suddenly, 4-9 could be a fifth round in hand for Lake Area. Things get a little bit tighter. You start to, you know, you start to hear the other team coming, so to speak. So, time to jump. Definitely look for, for the Cougars to kind of tighten things up here. As it stands, some utility being used toward mid in now onto the B site. We see a huge flank coming from the Cougars here. Down. Yeesh with the stinger. Close range. Going to just find the chamber. Gets the reload out. The Sova not spotting them right away. Mac with a great flanking position. Quite have doesn't quite have the uh, trigger discipline. Last player standing. Ultimately, Genjay getting the kill there. And Egg will go on to the back of sight with his Yoru teleport. We just barely caught the end of that sequence there. Good try. And there's round Idiot. number 10. And that's that ever, that, that ever important, uh, very important round. Actually, that was, that, I was going to say that's the ever important round three, but that's the rare, the rare budget buy round two victory. And the Phantom thrown away, cut, recovered by Genji. Not willing to let that one go. Let that ever important economic advantage slip away. Good. French out quickly with the Guardian. Gonna get healed up here. Genjank. Not sure how they're gonna play it. Who well. gets the lineup? Spike down. One long C. C. He One wants more. A Looks a for the third. Flawless. Triple kill for Genjank. French with a kill, kill being picked up as well. A 4 11. 11 4 in favor of Camden County. Looking for two more. One more round to just send us to mash point. Lake area now with their backs up against it for sure. Good. You know, with that Odin purchase, going to try and spam that wall early in the round, you'd think. Fresh, fresh pops out of garage here. Now we see an extremely aggressive play from all of Camden County. Yoru all being used, not really seeing a way in. Does in fact use his his ability haunted. Picking up two on the backside, maybe looking for more. Haunted gets silenced by Turtle Boy T. Reload coming out now. 2v3. Genjank and Yeesh against the three remaining members of the Lake Area. We still see Yeesh here in spawn, trying to find out exactly where this play is going to come from. And right now, we do see Blood out here going around in mid to kill the chamber. Chamber teleport. And now it's going to be a C plant more than likely. 
Turtle Boy T with the spike, still not willing to commit to it just yet. And uh, uh, perhaps being called over, being reminded that Spike is in hand. And now the audio cues are coming out. Spike now. planted. A pincer retake coming for the Cougars. Ooh, this could be a good spot to be if you're Genjank. Oh, just gets spotted out, but it didn't Dead. look like Turtle Boy T was ready. Gage now remaining. with the retake, finds one, fights two! And that'll suddenly send us to match point. It looked like Turtle Boy T might not have, uh, may have actually just kind of committed to the idea that that, that, would work. that recon dart wasn't going to spot anything, but in fact it did right at the end there. So match point! The Cougars ultimately ones that come out on top they are the beneficiary of that mistake and it's now match point works. for the next eight rounds they have eight rounds to close this one down in regulation could send us to ot though if they drop drop that many i'm not expecting it not from what we've seen from the cougars tonight so we'll have to see how it goes here genjake now gonna pay long c we've seen a lot Time of this to happening jump. Will it be a cheeky play here? We do see Camden County also getting aggressive on the side here. You know, going to use that frenzy. A bunch of frenzies, actually. A full frenzy. Haunted has his back turned. Goes down. 4v5. Still more frenzies to be had here. Maybe French getting into it. Genjank with the opening kill. Camden County College trading back here. Yage getting a couple, getting a pair. French fighting one. 11 HP. Back gets wall banged. Defenders to win. take us. Call me when the world ends again. I'd hate the end of map number two. Well, and there you have it. The Cougars will win in straight maps. Maps one and two in the books. And the undefeated season is, is alive. I mean, is it bad juju to say it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out next week. We'll be on Wednesday and Thursday, just like we were tonight with more Valorant action. Um, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask everybody watching. Please go ahead and go ahead and hit a follow button. It really helps us out. Go ahead and support your Cougars. Support the team here. Much appreciated for anybody watching as well. Uh, again, the Cougars will take the night in straight maps. Pretty convincing win. Against Lake Area, so um, but we started to see Lake Area started to get a, into a bit of a group. Ultimately, not enough. Um, thanks so much and GGs to them, and we will see you all. Um, we actually might be on tomorrow night. Stay tuned. We do have a Counter Strike game. Uh, we will certainly have some sort of uh, broadcast, uh, but we'll, we'll have more shoutcasted streams next week as well. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching.